some important tips that I would suggest was firstly keep a formula book with you and revise it daily. Uh, some important topics such as profit and loss, such as averages, mixtures, I think you can work on it and make it a strong point. Secondly, the most important of all is giving past year papers and mocks and actually analyzing them. So after giving your mock, analyze them and, and realize your strengths and your weaknesses, your time management and build a strategy accordingly. For quantitative aptitude section, it's very important that a candidate should uh, consider all the three sections as different exams. Their performance in initial sections should not affect their uh, performance in the succeeding section. Uh, it's very important to be able to work with a fatigue mind because you'll be writing the quant section after attempting the two sections and uh, your performance in previous sections should not affect. For the last one month remaining, divide this month into two parts. The first three weeks Focus on giving mocks as much as possible. Try for one mock on a daily basis. And look for the topics in which you are unable to attempt the questions or you are attempting incorrectly. And focus to practice that topics specifically. In the last one week, you can focus on reading and revising the formula and some specific concepts. It will help in the final exam. So, hello everyone. For the last one month, try to focus on the sections that you are already good with. There will be some weaknesses. In my case, I was not good with modern maths, but just forget about it. So, say you're good with profit and loss. So, try to polish it and try to do questions related to that in the sectional as well. Hi, everyone. So, my last month tip would be to make sure that go, you go through all the problems that you missed or you made uh, wrong answers in your mocks. Go through them, revise them once, and make sure that you are able to solve them now and thus this will also help you in recognizing which area is stronger for you, which area is weaker. The next tip would be to finalize your strategy. So there are multiple strategies like round one, round two, round three or going through the paper at one go. So there are many strategies and you have to understand which strategy works best for you. You can do that by uh, giving many sectionals and understanding which uh, works best for you. Uh, everyone has a different strategy and you have to recognize yours. For the D-Day, it's important that you eliminate all the possible uncertainties. So it's very much possible uh, during the winter season that your ca near uh, candidate sitting near uh, may be coughing or the invigilator may be making too much noise. So uh, one should be mentally prepared and calm enough to be able to handle all the situation and uh, sail through the exam. On the D-Day, don't do much. I prefer relaxing on the last day. But if you want to practice something, then you can read the formulae of the weak topics. It will help you in solving the direct formula based questions. You should focus on accuracy more than attempts. Moreover, easy topic doesn't mean easy questions and difficult topic doesn't mean difficult questions. Look, give some time to the question, 30 to 45 seconds, and see if you can think of a way to approach this question. If not, move forward. If you can think of a way, then solve the question. Moreover, I advise using the option approach. Try to eliminate the options. In many cat questions, you will be able to eliminate two, post, two options out of four questions very, very easily. So focus on elimination and then you can use that two options for substitution method also. On the D-Day, try to categorize the paper into three sections. The easy questions that you can easily sail through and the questions which are a little time consuming but if you get on it, you'll eventually do those questions and the questions which are hard. So first try to finish the easier questions then move on to questions which take some time and try to finish them as well. If you are left with some time then move on to the harder questions. The tip for D-Day would be to make sure that you understand that there will be many disturbances while you give the paper. Someone's screen would go blank, someone's mouse would not work and they would uh, like there would be many disturbances. You have to keep your composure and make sure that you concentrate on your exam. You can build this skill by giving many mocks at physical centers. Many coaching centers provide that uh, facility. You should uh, give many mocks and this would help you build some resistance to that. Uh, the other point would be to uh, like give your mocks in a slot that will, that is going to be a CAD slot. So your body clock is set accordingly and your mind is kind of function to work at its most efficient performance and uh, at that particular time interval. Uh, my last tip for the exam would be to understand that this is a competitive exam many if you are able to if you find a question tough it will be tougher for others and if you find a question easy it will be easy for others so make sure that you are not able to, you're not uh, you're not taking too much pressure and absorb it as much as possible uh, the other tip would be to make sure that you are reading the question slowly and thinking fast so my motto is has always been read slow think fast many people 
during the exam because of the pressure they call, go on to a default mode and they would start reading uh, fast and thinking slowly what that leads to do is that leads to many silly mistakes that you can avoid uh, talking about the d day and the day before the cat i think it's important that you eat well and sleep well it's important that you take this uh, don't put a lot of pressure on yourself because if you if you're finding the exam difficult remember others are finding it difficult also and while attempting the cat paper keep the time in mind and build a strategy 2 minutes per question for count i think is more than enough and don't take stress uh, learn to use options as a way to eliminate your uh, choices and don't use the calculator obviously and yeah i think some of these steps will help you in your count and all the best hope to see you in mdi all the best everyone and hope to see many of you here at mdi I hope you perform well in CAT, and I hope to see many of you here at MBA. All the best for your CAT exam. All the very best, and hope to see many of you here.